Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. I am back for another video. This time I want to talk to you guys about the haul I made at an estate sale yesterday. And what you're looking at now is this, the items all spread out um, in my little photography studio. This is actually a den. That's a sleeper sofa. It's a nice cozy room. I got a TV over here. I've got a bookshelf over there and a phone. And here are some of my uh, eBay and other Etsy and Bonanza props to stage my uh, clothing. But yeah, it works out real well, and I can just sit there and watch TV when I'm done. And and I sometimes I watch TV while I'm listing. But anyway, there were some estate sales in my area yesterday. They're just now starting up because we've had a really cold and rainy and wet spring, and they've been really slow. And you know, I. Uh, as you guys know, if you follow my videos, I do online reselling and I'm trying to grow a business to be a, a substantial reseller. It takes a while and you have to learn the ropes on a bunch of different types of items and it helps to know different categories. So when your item isn't available, there may be other items you can get. Anyway, I subscribe to a service called estatesales.net and every day if there is an estate sale in the area, they will send out an email and it'll tell you all about the sale, the company that's running the sale, the guidelines, uh, what forms of payment they take, what their rules are that you have to clear uh, your purchases by the last day of the sale, that some days they won't offer discounts and and most of the sales in my area give out numbers, so if you're there early, you go up to the door before the sale even starts and you ask for a number, those with the lowest numbers get in first, and you definitely want to get in first or in the first group if there's a certain item that you really want. Now, the mistake I made on this estate sale was I didn't get the item that I really wanted. Now, I don't know if that's a bad thing or not because I did make some nice purchases, uh, and I will share with you what I uh, purchased. But, uh, I, you know, when I look at the email, I make notes of uh, the guidelines, the address, the start time, and all that kind of stuff. And I got up early. I got there. The estate sale started at 9 o'clock, and I got there by about 20 after 7. Got my number, but the person that beat me to the item that I wanted was two numbers ahead of me. And it was kind of interesting because they were some Dutch ovens that I was looking at in the basement. And, you know, I didn't get down there as quickly as she did because she was ahead of me. But when anyway, when I went down there, I, I made a beeline for that area and she was ahead of me. And I'm thinking, oh, no, I hope she doesn't go there. And as soon as she got there, she crouched down and she said, these are all mine. You can't have them. They're mine. I'm thinking, whoa, lady. Go ahead, have at it. And I was kind of a taken aback, but it's the same kind of individual that's a slot hog at the casino. If the if there's waiting, standing room only, and the casino's really busy, that's an individual you'll see playing two or three slot machines by themselves. That's this type of a person. So I thought, well, I'll make lemonade out of a lemon. I'll go upstairs. I'll look around to see what else I can find. And, you know, they there were some books in the basement, and the ad said there were a lot of cookbooks. And I sell a lot of cookbooks, and I do fairly well with them. So I thought I couldn't find any. So I was coming upstairs. I was a bit, you know, deflated. And there, right ahead of me, I stared straight into the pantry next to the kitchen. And what did I find? I found a bunch of vintage cookbooks. There were more than this, but I got the best ones. Nobody saw them. Nobody was in there. So I picked up a Betty Crocker's picture cookbook. This is from 1950, and the spiral ones are actually worth more money than these, but I think I'm going to get somewhere in the 20s plus shipping for this. It's in fairly decent condition. No writing on the interior page. It has kind of a musty smell to it. The woman had a lot of cats, and it kind of smells like that, but eh. I mean, it's it's hard to say for sure. But anyway, it was an older, older woman, and I don't know if she's alive or not, but you know, they had to tear up all the carpet, whatever. But this one here is in phenomenal condition. It is a picture cookbook. I already sold one in less con less good of condition than this. And I paid $5 for it at an antique mall. And I, pay and I got $35 plus shipping for it. And that was just about a month ago. This one, I, I paid a dollar for each of these. 
And this one I think I have up for the 40s. I did disclose the smell in my listing. I didn't say for sure what it was because I don't know for sure what it was. I just said musty old smell. So I got that one up. And then we have an old Better Homes and Garden Cookbook from 1953. This is a first edition, ninth printing. And then we have a 1989. Uh, this is a second. Um, case, it says case bound edition. Uh, first printing. And this is new. This is like new. She never used it. Never used it. So I put like new on that. So I paid a dollar for each of those. And a couple of these I can get in the 50s or 60s for them. So uh, very nice score on the cookbooks. And then I went off to the bedroom to see what she had there. Oh, before I went to the bedroom, I, uh, you know, like to do a lot of cookware. And I look for the bigger sizes. This is copper clad stainless revere wear. And here they, you know, it's very important that they come with lids. They'll sell a lot easier and for more money. So here is a lid on this one. You can see the condition of this. Of course, I cleaned it. But they're a lot easier to clean than cast iron. And then on the back, you see a double uh, circle there. And this is the earliest Revere wear that's the most valuable. So they call that pre-1968. And you can see the interior. That's gorgeous. I should, I'm going to have it up for a 44. I hope to get 35 to 40 somewhere in there for this. I should be able to. This one is an 8-quart stock pot. And again... This one is in excellent condition, and you can see there the interior of the pot, and then on the back, again, you can clearly see the uh, fonts on there. It is the earliest cookware that they made and the most valuable. I should be able to get 50. I have this up, I think, for $59.99, or best offer. Uh, these are hard to find, and these handles are hard to find. These are black and shiny, but if people put them in the dishwasher, they become they become faded and sometimes they look white. But these are um, attached and they have the original screws, which I found out I bought a dome one. It did not have the original screws. And I went on a goose chase to find a screw that would fit that took me about three days. But I found a screw that would work, but it's not the same as those. They don't make them anymore. But these two items here should be about $80 to $100. I paid three for this. I paid six for that. Pretty good. And then uh, she had some hats. These are fedora hats. They're $3 each, and I have them up for like $29 to $26. Uh, the women's don't sell for whatever reason as well as the men's do. I can get 40 to 50 for a man's fedora hat. I've sold a couple this year even. But these are wonderful condition. This one is an actual fedora hat. It made in the USA. Whoops, right here. It is a Bowman and Company hat. And they're very, uh, very good reputation. And here's another one. And this woman was into style. <laughs> I would have loved to have known her. And this is a really cool one with feathers. And this one has a different kind of felt. Let's see, I think it's a doe skin a felt from, do, uh, from deer, I guess. So that's kind of neat. So we have those up. Go ahead and put that there. And then I uh, went into the family room and I found a brand new wrapped... Uh, VHS tape, and I don't really like to sell these unless they're brand new, but this is a secret garden. I should get about $10 plus shipping for that, maybe $8 plus shipping. I paid $0.50, cents, so stick it in a poly mailer and off it goes. It's simple. I'm not going to make a huge money from it. And then I've got a variety of um, CDs. Some of them are in, is sealed. Now these here are like in a paper type holder. And I asked them, they were a dollar a piece, and she said, because these were smaller, this one's sealed. So I paid for that one. I paid a dollar for these seven, and she threw these in for free. So, and it's classical music, and it's a Telarc label, and it should do really well. There's Ravel's Bolero. Uh, there's different things in there that classical people like. I do really well with classical CDs. Um... Um, they sell pretty well for me. So that's kind of easy to list. I haven't listed any of these yet. And finally, last but not least, I decided to look at the, I don't really, believe it or not, being a stacker, I don't get in much into jewelry, but 
I did decide to look at the brooches left on the table. This is a vintage 60s Lisner, and I should get about 11 for it. I listed it for $14.99 or best offer. This one here is really nice. This is a Trafari, a crown Trafari. And it is, you can see it, you can see it there if I can get in and focus. I don't know if, I don't know if it's going to focus, but there is a crown over the T. And these carry somewhat of a premium, but that is really nice. And it was probably made somewhere in the 1950s. It's a metal alloy, tarnish-free metal alloy, and crystal rhinestones, and it does carry a premium. It's a great design, and I should get about 20 to 20, 20 to 30 for it. I have it up for $29.99. We'll see what I can get, but I should get anywhere from 20 to 26 for that. So anyway, I paid $30 for all of this. So I guess I'm going to do better than buying that one thing that that woman <laughs> cheated me out of. But I made lemonade out of a lemon. And this $30 investment for all this stuff, I should be able to get about $400, you know, when all is said and done. And maybe I'll net about three to three fifty in fee, you know, after fees and that kind of thing. I'm not including shipping. I charge shipping extra, so... Um, but that's what you got to do. And let me just show you one thing real quick. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. This type of thing you'd expect to find in an estate sale. Um, I go to a thrift store. Let me go ahead and take that off. It's my, I put a little note in everything when I sell things. That way I know when I list. This is a lidded. It has a lid on there. It is a late model pyrex it's really gorgeous i just bought this on wednesday today's friday and they were having a half off day but i actually hit it the day before that and they wanted 15 for this and i thought that was a little too steep to pay and then i was checking the lid out and i noticed there was a little bit of a crack right there it's not real sharp i can run my finger along and no blo no blood drawn but uh, it did have this lid, and these casseroles many times come without a lid. But I disclosed the crack and took a picture of it, listed it Wednesday night, I think it was, I bought it Wednesday, and the thing just sold. So I paid, they wanted 15 and I told them about the, uh, the uh, it's not a crack, I don't know if you call it a chip, it's just a chip, I guess, um, but they wanted... 15 so I ended up paying seven for it and it just sold for 40 plus shipping So yeah, this business can be uh, Learned and it can be done and anyway, the video is getting too long, but uh, Yeah, I'm starting to make some decent purchases And I got to package this thing up. It's got to go out tomorrow. It's going to go in this this box here I'm actually going to cut it down to, to size save on shipping so anyway, guys, if you like this type of video, give me a thumb up, leave a comment or question below. Just uh, haven't done a video like this in a while, so I hope you guys take advantage. And uh, if you are going to an estate sale, remember, go early because you may miss out. But if you miss out, there are plenty of other treasures to be found. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching and, and go make it a great weekend.